हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज मनमोहन सर एंड यू आर वाचिंग दिस टाइम मिस्टर नंदकिशोर पटेल इज द टॉपर ऑफ माय कोचिंग सेंटर मिस्टर नंदकिशोर पटेल हाउ आर यू फीलिंग टू वेयर दिस टाइम एज सर टोल्ड माय नेम इज नंदकिशोर पटेल एंड इट्स एन एब्सोल्यूट प्लेजर टू बी हियर एंड आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू मनमोहन सर to give me this opportunity to speak something in front of you all and also feeling little nervousness because i never gave an interview like this especially uh, in front of camera and in english uh, but yeah it's all right yes uh, you are saying uh, um, i am nervous uh, but i think uh, it is not uh, any big place for any interview that uh, uh, you can easily speak about your educational goal and educational safar uh, that's all uh, okay and uh, give uh, please uh, give your brief introduction about yourself for our viewer uh, literally i don't have any big achievement uh, but uh, if anyone can learn anything from my experiences and my life so uh, it would be really uh, a great pleasure for me so my educational journey was started from my village nandlalpura where i was born yes and uh, after completing uh, my primary school education from there yes. i came to chatarpur and uh, from excellence school i completed my remaining school education and last year i got, i got 91.8% marks with maths stream from excellence school and also uh, got third rank in our patel society of chatarpur so it's all about my educational background apart from it i also went uh, uh, recently i took admission at a private engineering college of bhopal yes. named uh, oriental college of technology in btech and uh, apart from it i also uh, went to join a private school for teaching and got an opportunity to, uh, to teach some of our uh, students and that was really a great experience i would say yes uh, you are saying that uh, uh, you have to take admission in oriented college please uh, uh, tell me about your college uh, actually it's a private college and affiliated with rgpv bhopal and uh, i took admission there on the basis of my 12th marks uh, actually to take admission in any uh, government or private engineering college of not only of madhya pradesh but uh, all over in india so you have to give a uh, je entrance examination but uh, due to some problems i didn't give this exam and got uh, admitted on the basis of my 12th marks yes uh, good and um, uh, uh, can you tell me uh what is the contribution uh, of my coaching centers uh, uh, in uh, improving your english language uh, actually uh, i got 93 marks in english last year and i think that was really a decent score for a student like me who started learning tenses even in his 10th class and uh, most of the students come from uh, rural background like me and they are weak in english because uh, they always took it as a hurdle or troubling subject just to just to qualify it so they are weak in english and what but, uh, but when i came to chatarpur so i joined prabha english classes in my 11th class and also in 12th so uh, sir also sir is also very cooperative if we have any doubt at home so we can also ask it through the call or on whatsapp or we can come any time uh, to the coaching center to uh, clear our doubt any type yes. of our doubt yes. and sir also provides uh, extra classes for the weak students yes. and uh, apart from it sir also provides test series there are many tests uh, in a year so uh, i would like to share here a mistake which i made during my preparation yeah. uh, that was uh, i used to give each and every test of the coaching but uh, i never analyzed the test paper so i think that was the biggest mistake i made because i think uh, uh, if you were giving test and not analyzing the paper so there is no meaning of it so i think uh, sir is very cooperative also so uh, if you are a weak or an average student so you can join prabha english classes and that really helped me if i did so i think you can very much thank you uh, that uh, uh, you uh, tell me about uh, about coaching and about me and uh, next question is my uh, what is your future plan uh, actually in my future if will uh, if i will get an opportunity to uh, serve our nation so i would like to serve our nation by being a part of our democratic government simply yes. i want to become a civil servant and want to work for our nation yes. that's good uh, i proud of you um, uh, 
then next my question uh, from uh, from where uh, you get inspired uh, uh, to become a civil servant and how decide uh, first i would like to talk about the how important it is to decide a goal uh, imagine you are going on a bus and uh, when conductor comes to you and asks you that where are you going and you say sorry i don't know so it's looking very strange thing but if you relate it with your life so you will find that you are suffering in a uh, bus but you don't know where are you going so i think first you should decide your goal and uh, if i will talk about myself so uh, i from where i decided so uh, by fate my brother in law mr nandikishor patel ji uh, yes. who is an assistant professor now at maharaja college chatarpur yes. so he uh, also prepared in delhi for upsc civil service examination yes. so he told me about uh, uh, about the exam pattern and everything about it so uh, from there uh, i get uh, i decided to go for it Okay, uh, that's good. Uh, uh, can you tell me uh, for our viewers uh, 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 which factors uh, that are related to uh, uh, become a civil servant? Uh, actually, I would like to uh, talk about the exam pattern and which exam we will have to give out uh, give to become a civil servant. Okay. Actually, UPSC is a commission which conducts various uh, examinations, central level examinations of India. so civil service examination is also one of them and uh, there are three stages in it uh, first prelims mains and interview and there are two papers in prelims nine papers in mains and uh, lastly uh, they check your personality uh, are they uh, are there uh, qualities which should be in a civil servant are they inside you so they check your confidence uh, when will uh, you will be able to handle a whole district so uh, to get, uh, to become a civil servant you have to qualify all these three stages and uh, according to your rank and uh, uh, your services preferences the services will be allocated to you so that's that's good uh very uh, thank you uh, you told uh, about your uh, future plan and uh, related to uh, exam pattern for our viewers uh, and next my question is that uh, uh, when uh, suppose that uh, you will become a civil servant then this type of uh, this type of uh, help uh, and which type of service provide for uh, the poor people and uh, highly people uh, actually um, from my childhood i always wanted to become a policeman or wanted to go into police department yes uh, but that time i didn't have any knowledge about it so i used to say that uh, i want to become an inspector uh, but that time i didn't have any knowledge about it uh, what is an inspector what are the works of them but uh, uh but when I, when i came into my 10th and 11th standard so i uh, decided to go to become a civil servant and wanted to work for and want to work for uh, police department i want to remove the corruption of police department as it is known as very uh, police department is known as very corruptive so uh, and also want to work uh, for the security of women in india so it's my uh, dream to work mr nandkeshwar patel ji you are saying that uh, uh, corruption uh you you removed uh, uh you you can uh, i think uh, you uh, when uh, you become a civil servant uh, like i as and uh, other uh, uh, servant then uh, i think uh, you can remove corruption But good uh, i proud of you uh, to know that uh, your future plan is uh, to uh, become a, a civil servant then uh, next question is my dad uh what uh, message uh, would you like to uh, give up for our viewers please actually i strongly believe in the famous thing that is uh, uh, if someone has done it then even you can do it if no one has done it then you must do it so uh, first decide your destination be confident about it and give your 100% uh, for this and you should uh, decide your you should create your own path by yourself because i think anyone doesn't know you better than yourself so uh, as gandhi ji said do or die but i believe in do or do because death is not an option to choose or uh, death is a certain thing thanks at all thanks uh, friends uh, thank you friends uh, and thank you uh, for watching for this video and uh, sus- and uh, press subscribe button and the uh, bell icon also friends uh, and uh, if you like this video and uh, so give up thumb and uh, if you contact us uh, and uh, uh, for con- for conversation and uh, our coaching then uh, you uh, you can contact uh, and uh, uh, contact with uh, whatsapp so
so you can uh, see uh, my contact number and whatsapp number on your mobile screen very very thank you